DDG announced on social media earlier this week that he and Haley Bailey were splitting up. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He emphasized in a sincere way that even if their love relationship didn't work out, they are still best friends. Only a few months had passed since they brought Halo, a baby boy, into their family as their first child. We believe it's the best path forward for both of us, he said. I cherish the time we've spent together and the love we've shared. Bailey has yet to comment on the split, but the same can't be said for social media users. Fans have been flooding X with their reactions to the news since it was first shared. Big reactions to the split were had by many fans, both favorable and negative. Joe Budden, however, approached his statement in a different way. Who the fuck is DDG? <laughs> <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? He chose to concentrate most of his emphasis on DDG himself while discussing his thoughts on the breakup on an episode of his podcast. Every time I see his name, it's attached to hers and is typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. He asserted that aside from his connection with Bailey, he had no knowledge of DDG. DDG wasted no time before responding and didn't hold back in the slightest. Pump it up went gold after 20 years you old BH at Joe Budden I'm on you, he tweeted today. Anna got 30 years max of life left and speaking on a relationship of people the same age as yo son you take care of. I hope you forget to take your magnesium pills today you old BH at Joe Budden. I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't think nobody have a problem with me that I know about. Today. At this point, Megan Thee Stallion has had a few rap-related beefs, whether it's with Nicki Minaj this year or in the past. If you want me to know that you have a problem with me, you will really have to blatantly be like, Megan Thee Stallion, da -da -da -da. But as it turns out, she had already talked about how her fame would lead to additional issues with other musicians in a 2019 interview with Joe Budden, a portion of which has already surfaced again. Because I, I just don't even be paying attention to negativity, so I would never know who don't like me at all. She remarked, Marked, with him saying that every new act thinks the same at first. That is the same thing that Drake said to me in 2009. Joe Budden recalled, which is ironic given Drizzy and Megan the Stallion's feud, plus Joe's own issues with the Toronto superstar. So I'm gonna say to you, like I said to him, in the event that you sell the records that me and your label and everyone thinks you will sell, they come. If they come, let's just keep it in the booth, you know. We got a fucking rap on our end. I like to rap, so come on, that's, that's what you do. It wouldn't be rap if it wasn't some type of rap beef. Budden characterized this as attractive. All the new girls that I'm cool with. She continued. Like, I try to keep us, you know, all together. We coming up right now, you know what I'm saying. So, come on girl, come meet me. Come hang out. Like, I'm having a party, come through. Let's all get to know each other. Let's be cool because when the fans see that the girls are being nice to each other, that makes them lessen that drama. Because a lot of beef between women get started because of their fan bases, I feel like. Chloe Bailey recently had a social media live stream with her followers to discuss why she isn't doing live performances more frequently. Someone said, why haven't you been performing? For me. Trust me, I would be performing if I could. She continued by saying that the shows were expensive and that her label had not given her the necessary resources. The thing is, is that money goes into performances. Consequently, Beyonce's admirers have been demanding that she receive additional assistance, given her contract with the legendary singer's record label, Parkwood Entertainment. It's not free to do performances and you have to get budgets approved and things like that. Some have accused Columbia Records of being default. If I could, I'd be performing everywhere. She continued by defending her work ethic and clarifying that it was unrelated to her desire to perform well. She is signed to Parkwood Entertainment, which is Beyonce's label and signed to Columbia for distribution. So yes, it's actually Beyonce who gets the blame for those confused. One user wrote in the comments. Trouble in Paradise, Bailey's second studio album, was released in August. Collaborations with Jeremy, Anderson, Pac, Ty Dolla Sign, and others are included. Haley Bailey has made it apparent that she is tired of the criticism and talk surrounding her son, Halo. Haley Bailey wrote a long essay defending her work and her son, whom she shares with DDG, and a now deleted post on X I'm so sick of people thinking it's okay to speak on my career and my child. Leave us alone. I rebuke every negative word on this app and I hope the people who are concerned about my life put that energy into themselves. God will continue to cover and protect my family, the actress wrote. Haley talked on how being pregnant affected her eating in addition to defending herself, and her child. Haley said, no longer, in response to a fan who inquired about her vegan diet during the broadcast. She went on to say that she started eating meat again because she was pregnant. I was vegan for 13 years up until then. And I honestly was just like, well, I'm just gonna give my body what it wants right now. Because I'm doing a really hard job of growing a human. And I also wanted to make sure that Halo was getting the proper nutrients and things he needed. The R&B songstress explained. <laughs>